Hi there, Sam Cooley, Mindful Money. Just wanted to do a quick video about the effects of the NAR, National Association of Realtors, uh, proposed settlement that um, was announced on Friday, the 15th of March. So what does this mean for mortgages and home buying and home selling? Uh, first of all, there are about 2 million real estate agents in the United States. And of those 1.5 million are members of the National Association of Realtors. So the National Association of Realtors was being sued by home sellers um, on the behalf of all home sellers that felt it was unfair that the standard 6% commission that is paid by the sellers to the selling agent for them to then co-broke the buyer's agent commission. So generally they charge 6%, three to the selling agent, three to the buyer's agent. Uh, the home sellers that started this lawsuit said, hey, we don't like this. We don't wanna be forced into paying commission for a buyer's agent. So that's where we are right now. Um, it looks like that the buyer's agent commissions will be negotiable. They will be something that can be paid for by the seller if agreed upon, but not until an offer is written, um, or they can be paid for by the buyer. Um, this is kind of frightening because the benefit of having a real estate agent as a buyer is they walk you through one of the largest purchases of your life. Um, they are the experts. They understand the contracts. They understand home inspections. They are your guide through making this large purchase. So um, it's kind of frightening that a lot of people might actually decide not to use a buyer's agent and go straight to a listing agent whose first responsibility is actually to represent the seller, not for the buyer. So it's going to leave a lot of non-experienced home buyers, like first time home buyers, without their own representation. So we don't really know all of the ripple effects of this because the settlement has not been signed off by the court. So right now, um, buyer's agents are going to be required to sign a buyer broker agreement. Uh, there are different names for this, um, depending on what state you live in. I've included uh, the Arizona, Colorado, and California frequently asked questions in uh, the body of this. And um, I've also included a copy of the buyer broker agreement. So that basically means that a buyer's agent is going to tell the buyer what they do for them and why they deserve a commission. Once the buyer is out looking at properties and writes an offer, from my understanding, that's when they ask for the seller to pay for the agent commission that the agent that's representing the buyer. Um, they can do something like a interested party contribution where the seller would give a credit like they normally would for closing costs, but to pay for the buyer's agent. Unfortunately, on VA loans, a buyer cannot pay for real estate commissions. So we're back to if a VA buyer makes an offer on a property, are they going to be discriminated against because the seller is going to have to pay those fees? Uh, there's lots of problems that can come up here. Um, first time home buyers maybe don't have enough money except for their down payment. So they're already looking to the seller to help them with closing concessions. Uh, they are capped at 6% on an FHA loan. So uh, if their agent, if buyer's agent wants 3% and then we've got closing costs in there, what does that mean uh, for our FHA buyers? And who wants to go out and look at homes if you don't know if you can afford the real estate commission, the down payment and the closing costs? Um, I do have uh, in the body of the email a further description of interested party uh, contributions and the limitations of those contributions. Um, I have to say, I don't feel like the sky is falling and the real estate market's cra gonna crash forever and home values are gonna drop. Um, things are just changing. And this happened with the SAFE Act in 2008. As a loan officer, we had to get tested, we had to get licensed, we have to have our credit pulled every year, we have to be fingerprinted. 
and we have to disclose our commissions that are paid to us either by the buyer or the lender. So we've, um, you know, had to go out there and talk about what we're paid. Um, real estate agents are now going to have to go out there and talk about what they're paid. Um, as we know, talking about money is always scary, but I think that, you know, this will be a positive change. We just are going to have to figure out all the kinks and see how it works for everyone. So um, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I am not an expert at this, but just giving you my opinion. Uh, Sam Cooley, mortgage broker and owner of Mindful Money. Thank you so much and have a great day.